is a brand new shiny humbucker pickup and these are covers off of two brand new shiny single coil pickups and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to age them so we're going to get rid of that shine they go in a guitar project that i'm working on right now and it's called the biohazard 2 and as you can see it's a very heavily relic finish uh, even the uh, the bridge and all the hardware, every piece on this guitar is relic. So since these are brand new, I'm going to have to make them look aged or old somehow. I'm not trying to pass this off as an actual vintage guitar. This is a spare pickup cover that I had, and I've been kind of playing with it. Different ideas, and I really like how this end looks here. And we're going to replicate that on these three pickups and uh, kind of show you how I do this. There's my beige concoction of paint that I mixed up using old spray paint. This, uh, these are all lacquer spray paint uh, cans, and I've got a lot of these hanging around. So there was no need to really go out and buy uh, beige paint when I can easily make it right here. Um, a little bit of black, very little. Uh, some red, yellow, and a lot of white. They mix those up, and you get kind of a nice beigey color. And that's all I really want. So I have everything that I need right here. I even mix that up on the bottom of an old spray paint can that's empty. So uh, there's my pickups. It's not the best paint job in the world because I'm not going for perfection here. Um, since this is spray paint lacquer, it dries very fast. So you're not going to get a nice even coat. But once it dries, I'm going to sand most of it off anyways to get that kind of antique vintage-y look. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So what I've done here is I just kind of placed the pickup and the covers in the guitar body just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. And I don't think I've gotten them relic enough yet. I mean, you can see that they're, you know, they're kind of yellowed a little bit, but still they're too bright. They're too shiny and clean looking. And with that beat up looking body and that bridge, that's kind of uh, beat up as well I think see they're kind of glowing white I got to get rid of some of that glowing whiteness so there's a thing that I want to try an idea that I have and I think it's going to work out great this is a tube of black acrylic uh, artist paint and what I have uh, used that for is to make a very very thin wash to go over the pickup covers and the humbucker uh, trying to replicate dirt I had the uh, the yellowed paint on there, which worked out well, but they were still too clean looking, so uh, I used that. That works out really well because what happens, uh, it's acrylic and it's uh, water-based when it's wet, but when it's dry, it's not, uh, water will not take it off. It sticks on there pretty well, and it won't react with the, uh, the lacquer paint underneath. So whatever I put over top of the lacquer paint, I don't want it to affect it. So the lacquer paint can stay where it is, and then the black wash goes over top, and then I kind of dry brush it uh, to smooth it around a little bit, uh, leaving some of the, the paint and some of the crevices to uh, give it some detail. And uh, one thing I don't think I mentioned was the grit of sandpaper that I used to sand down those pickups. Um, I started, well, started off with uh, 220 grit, uh, pretty aggressive. Um, that was just to get rid of any of the shiny surface. And then I moved on to a 600. Uh, the reason I did that was because I still want some of those heavy scratches from the 220, but not all of them, because that's what I want the black wash to kind of sink into. So that kind of replicates, uh, you know, pick marks and things like that. Um, from the 600, I moved on to uh, 2000 grit. And the idea of using 2000 grit is to kind of polish the surface to kind of bring back some sort of a, like a shine like as if these are old pickups so uh, like I said before I'm not trying to replicate vintage pickups we're just trying to get something that looks uh, kind of old and beat up to suit this guitar pickups are all done they're all aged aged perfection and uh, the last thing that I did was to simulate uh, surface rust on the poles of the uh, each pickup and uh, how I did that was uh, I went back to my artist's acrylic paint this time mixing up some red yellow and, and uh, blue with a little bit of black trying to get uh, kind of a rusty brown color and uh, 
then dry brushing it with a very lightly watered down uh, on the pole pieces and you don't want it too wet you don't want that water seeping into where the co coils go or where the coils are so uh, very careful with that but uh, I like the look that's as far as I'm going to go with the aging it's going to go really nice on this guitar but uh, I had a little bit of paint left over and I was working out uh, an idea for the access cover for the electronics on the back this is actually uh, a plastic uh, piece that looks like diamond plate and I didn't want it to just be black plastic looking I wanted it to look like metal so I made two uh, samples here one I uh, sprayed silver paint on and one white uh, rubbed off some of the white to simulate wear and tear and then put on my rusty wash and I think it looks pretty pretty convincing so uh, how do I know to do this how do I figure all this stuff out well I've been kind of an artist for years and I've played with a lot of paint um, I've made a lot of mistakes I've ruined a lot of things so uh, I kind of have an educated guess when it comes to what kind of paint can I play with how can I mix things together how can I throw things on one paint on top of another and not having a bad reaction so uh, that's kind of you know how I come up with all this stuff so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.